welcome to part three of the Brassica cage build. Alright, so I'd like to see this move now. So we've got it anchored down there with pegs on the corner. Anchor there. Um, bricks. So hopefully it shouldn't blow away overnight so I can get the netting on tomorrow. I haven't actually done anything today apart from rescue this. So this is what we've been doing most of the day which is putting all the um, netting on the front and sides. As you can see, we've managed to get the netting on the door frame, which is just stapled on and um, folded over as much as possible. Then we've got the one side on, but um, the back we've been unable to do at the moment because uh, we had to cut off some from the side. As you can see, there's holes in it which I'll have to get the needle and thread out to fix those. We fitted it to the, um, I fitted the net into the poly tunnel as best we can, but we've run out of uh, cable ties. So we're just getting it on as best we can. I'm just going around showing all the holes in the netting. And, uh, those will be fixed easy enough, they're only small and once we've got some more cable ties we can tie everything on a bit better and uh, get it looking taut and we can also get the back on the brassica cage but I will need to do some sewing to get that on and then it'll just be cable tied on like the rest so that's pretty much all we've done for today. I think we've both had enough now. So we're going to pack up and go home. So you've seen what it looks like from the inside. This is what it looks like from the outside. Uh, it's looking a lot better. It is staked down but not indefinitely as this has to move and we're looking at other ways to stake it down. But yeah, it's coming along nicely. I'm quite pleased with how it looks. Now all I have to do is sew the two back parts together. Do I need to sew them, Jinxie? Where? Where am I sewing? What's this? Jinxie, what's that? You need to get off that so I can sew it. Can I have it back now? Yeah. So I have um, quickly fastened the back piece on that I sewed up last night. And as you can see, it fits pretty well. I'm quite pleased with how I've done. And there you can see it from the inside. It's coming along nicely and hopefully with a few more cable ties we'll get it on better. And let's just have a quick look at me putting some of the cable ties on that I've just bought to uh, finally fasten this together. I can't see it in the editing suite but hopefully this should be pretty fast. And hopefully I don't look too stupid, but I don't really care. It's pretty much done, so I might do another video after this to show it complete, but it's pretty much done, so you know. You know what it looks like. So, I am in the tunnel. 
and it is finished. So yeah, nice little 360 there for you. If you enjoy that, or do you feel a bit sick? Anyway, um, I'll show you this back bit here. Now this was a separate piece and it was cut in two halves, so I had to sew it together here. And that was most difficult. So this took me, because I don't have a sewing machine. No one I know has a sewing machine. Double stitched it and six hours later. Yes, six hours. Six hours later, it was done. Six hours. Yeah, I really wanted to finish it. So I sat there for six hours straight. Don't get me wrong, I had a break. I'm not an idiot. I like a cup of tea and some food, snacks. But yeah, just doing that one line took me six hours. Six. But then I put it on the next day and it's Pretty strong. Strong. So yeah, that's all done. Ooh. So the only thing that needs to be done now is the roof. So once that's done, it will be complete. I have, I'll show you now because otherwise Terry will tell me off. He's told me so in the last video. I don't want to be told off. So spikes are in. I should have shown you these. The should have shown you <laughs> these before. These are really long metal spikes that are. They were meant for the shed because I didn't think the uh, base came with them, but it did. So these have got a hole in, and Dad has cable tied these onto each corner of the frame, so it shouldn't move. Now the other thing I'm thinking of doing is I've got another spike there as you can see. I've tied this underneath and there's a met uh, wooden stake out there as well. So should, should it come away it won't fly off and hurt anyone because I would be absolutely gutted if that happened. It's another spike there and in the corner there is more spikes oh, and white fly but there's also a tent peg which is on the uh, uh, connected to the uh, wrap, tie wraps around the um, metal thing. They were for the original polytunnel cover but because that ripped off they just stayed on so I left them there to tie things to. Now one thing I was thinking of doing was pushing some um, cable ties out so there's a little loop sticking out and anchoring that down when the weather's really bad or I might even do over the top but we'll see. But this is it. The final, apart from some cosmetic adjustments, and also have to go around and sort these sort of holes around the place. And I'm also gonna uh, obviously fill in these bits, dig out in here and out the other side, and make sure. This is completely covered in soil. But the actual construction is pretty much done. You can see what it's like. Everything's tied on. This back piece, lovely, because I did it all by myself. Now I was going to get Dad to explain to you what we've done, but um, He's had to have an operation on his eye and he's doing much better and he's going to be fine but 
he's not allowed down to the allotment for about six weeks so um, yeah he'd be here later on to help but it's just me at the moment and I'm doing fine and dad's doing well so that's it for this uh, update thanks for watching and if you like what you see thumbs up if you don't thumbs down and I will see you in the next video thanks for watching bye for now